Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Some pressman has walked on this. Come on, Mr. Ward. We're in right trouble now. We must keep to a tight schedule. So unfortunately, as I've seen, the communications have broken down, but I've heard them speak before, and I'm sure he can be heard by each and every one of you. And now, people of New Ross and people of Ireland, I give you President Kennedy of the United States. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, I first of all uh, would like to introduce two uh, members of my family who came here with us, my sister Eunice Shriver, and to introduce uh, another of my sisters, uh, Jean Smith. And I'd like to have you meet the American ambassador, McCluskey, who's with us, right over there. And I'd like to have you meet the head of the American labor movement, whose mother and father were born in Ireland, George Meany, who's traveling with us. And then I'd like to have you meet the only uh, man with us who doesn't have a drop of Irish blood, but who's dying to. <laughs> the head of the protocol in the United States, Angia Biddle Duke. <laughs> See, Angie, how nice it is to be Irish. I'm uh, glad to be here. It took 115 years to make this trip. And 6,000 miles. And three generations. But I'm uh, proud to be here, and I appreciate the warm welcome you've given to all of us. When uh, my great-grandfather left here to become a uh, cooper in East Boston, he carried uh, nothing with him except two things, a strong religious faith and a strong uh, desire for liberty. And I'm glad to say, and I'm glad to say that all of his great grandchildren have valued that inheritance. Yeah, yeah. If he hadn't left, I'd be working over at the Albatross Company. <laughs> Perhaps for John D. Kelly. <laughs> in, in any case, we're happy uh, to be back here. About uh, 50 uh, years ago, an Irishman from New Ross uh, traveled down to Washington with his family. And in order to tell his neighbors how well he was doing, he had his picture taken in front of the White House and said, uh, this is our summer home. Uh, <laughs> Come and see us. Well, it's our home also in the winter, and I hope you will come and see us. Thank you.